Yo, what is up guys? I'm Sir, Amir. I'm Fu. Right. So, Today we're gonna do three different MOBA at three different places. So, we wanna try three places with our one friend today called Suzanne. Yo guys. From Train Around. So check her, check her YouTube Train out. Train Around. Train Around, yeah. So, today we're gonna try 2D, Sing Fu Tang, and also the Boba. These three places that we want to look in further because we didn't really try before lah. I say yeah, everyone tried before, we never tried before lah. So yeah. So the first place that we're gonna go is 2D. See you there. So this is going to be the first place that I'm going to try out. So it's 2D. That's not milk. By the way, this is the milk boba. So this is milk boba. And it tastes like milk and brown sugar. That's all. Nothing special. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Alright. Let's try. It's a dream. Brown sugar. And milk. And milk. And boba. Like any other boba shop, but you know, you get the vibes. Number one, mm. ambience. Okay, ambience. Never been to the original one. We are actually at the SS15 one. So, but here is not bad. But not as chill as the other Boba shop that I've tried before. But it's not bad. I like. Number two is the packaging. This is one of the best packaging I've ever seen. And for flavor wise, so so only. Yeah. Wait, from one to ten. I would be rating this one to ten. It would be around five. It's an average. Not too bad. Not too suck. Um, ambience. I'd say ambience. It's uh, outstanding because, like, compared to other Boba shops, it has a theme, which is uh, Egypt theme, and it's pretty, pretty chill. And it's very good for. I mean, insta worthy. And I mean, the drink. It's five or ten or so because. Oh, the packaging, outstanding, of course, compared to other boba shops, but the taste, eh, I would say, more or less, the same. Packaging? Packaging nice, outstanding from other boba shops, so you'll recognize this is 2D compared to others. Is it better? Okay. Um, flavor. Flavor is like uh, it's like a thin milk. It's not thick milk. It's like a skim. Is it skim milk? Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah, skim milk. So skim milk plus with the boba and the brown sugar. So I would rate the taste about six out of ten. No, I think five out of ten. Sorry. Mm. The ambience, I would say, is about a 9 out of 10 because it's something unique that is not really done by other boba shops around uh, in SS15 or basically in KL. The theme is about Egyptian themes that it kind of has like that uh, unique, I guess, unique 
theme, I guess. But then, the, if, if you notice, there was like a, some Easter eggs where some of the some of the drawings that is on the wall is Egyptian, which is in the past, but they have like boba, boba art. Like, kind of like the guy is serving boba and all. Mm. I would say the packaging is nice, nicely done. This is marker pen, I think, the side. So, A for effort. I would give this, the packaging, about a 7 out of 10. Then this is a 2D logo, which is the brand for the company. Okay guys, so we're at Zinfuta, Malaysia. So, okay, as you can see, this is the normal regular boba tea, which is the special one. Which is the, basically, their, uh, what do you say, what do you call it? Ah, this is their signature drink. The, basically, the normal boba tea, the brown sugar and the milk. Uh, first, it's like, uh, they heat it up, what, the cheese? No, not the cheese. What's this? Uh, white. Something, yeah, they, they basically burn the top, the top part and you can see like very thick boba and, uh, Okay, first of all, you need to mix it before you go for drink it Mix, mix, mix Alright, now that's been mixed Okay uh, the Zinfutang in Malaysia, the taste is about the same. I thought it was going to be sweeter in Malaysia, but in terms of the sweetness, I think it's about the same as Taiwan. It's not, not too sweet. Uh. Because Taiwan's signature, I would say it's not too sweet in comparison with like other boba teas. Uh. Because other boba teas might be over sweet, like too much sugar. But I think this one is just okay. In terms of the taste, I would say Taiwan has the edge. The one in Taiwan, Zinbutang in Taiwan has the edge by maybe like uh, 0.5 So I'm gonna rate this about an 8 And the Taiwan one is about 8.5 So it's similar in taste But nonetheless, it's in Malaysia la, So it's okay, it's a win-win I would say the ambience The ambience is an, an 8 out of 10 It's it's a it's a good ambience, but it's nothing not really special about it. It's clean. Uh, it's basically quite a good uh, I would say good concept, good decor. Okay, for the packaging, I would say I would rate, I would rate the packaging about a seven out of ten. That's not really something special about the packaging. It's just a normal plastic cup. So I'll be trying Singputang. It's my first time though. Let's try. I would say taste-wise and the boba itself, I would give it a six. Because you would you will feel that the boba itself, the pearl itself, it's pretty much like because it's cooked with uh, brown sugar, thick brown sugar. Very rich in taste and Ambient, it's very chill, very uh, aesthetic wise, so I will give it a 6 or so. Pretty chilling and it's not bad. What is up, guys? We are trying out the Singfu Tang today. I mean, we are trying the second cup now. Lah. This is Singfu Tang, and I'm gonna try out the taste and tell you guys how it feels. It's not actually not that sweet, you know? Yeah. I was expecting a lot sweeter. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in terms of rating, I give this around a seven. It's not too bad. In terms of ambient wise, it's a very chill place. Uh. I mean, it's a place that you can bring your friends along, sit down, and they actually have a fortune for you to take. You can read a fortune, I think, and maybe believe in your fortune. Who knows, right? Um, in terms of packaging, I give a five. Just a cup. Tell me what you think. Boba tea. and so their specialty in drinking the boba, their signature is actually because they have cheese burn on top. So what you have to do is, at first you pick up the lid. And then you have to take a sip first. Because the cheese is on top. And I would say this is some decent, uh, decent cheese top and it's pretty nice, I like it. And next thing, you have to just poke it in and drink. <coughs> and just stir it. I would say it's pretty sweet for me because uh, compared to Sinfudang, this is more sweeter and but I quite like it. The pearls are mm, much more softer than Sinfudang. I will give it a 7.5. So the ambience actually not bad. The color wise it's pretty down to earth kind of color. It's brown, black. I would say pretty decent uh, environment but um, I would say I'll give it a 6 so packaging I think it's just any normal plastic cups but this one actually I really like the lid because it's pretty hard to like lift it up because it requires to take a sip but you see the lid wasn't that good because it's very hard to you know so maybe 4 out of 10 what is up guys? We are today trying out the boba. <laughs> so um, we have the green the matcha, matcha brown sugar boba and they have a cheese on top of it. So I'm trying out the cheese now. Actually yeah, the cheese is kind of decent. It's not overpowering. Let's try the boba. If you are a type of person who really like matcha latte, this is a one. This is one drink that I would recommend to you. The cheese actually works with the matcha, so I would rate this drink around seven. And in terms of the ambience, it's a luxury ambience. Let's be honest with you. Just that some of the paints are chipped off and everything. It's not so nice, but the ambience is fine. Very chill. Packaging wise, I kind of think the lid is stupid. Right? The lid is stupid. Right? You see? Other than that, take, take note double work. Take note double work. Other than that, it's a. Um, okay, let's put it in rating. The drink I'll rate 7, ambience I'll rate around a 6.5, and this I rate here a 3. The, stu the design is very, mm. yeah, quite nice. So guys, uh, 
now we're gonna try the boba. So this is a matcha boba tea, right? Matcha boba tea. Yeah. yeah matcha boba tea. So it's a mixture of like cheese, uh, matcha, and the brown, the boba. Okay. So basically, you're supposed to. You said like try the cheese first. Try the cheese first. Mm. The cheese reminded me of like a Japanese cheese. I don't know, like a Japanese cheese. Or... Yeah. It's nice, the cheese is nice. Yeah, the bubble, the boba, the bubble is like much more softer than Zinputa, than 2D. It's like a. Basically, you chew a bit and it's just basically. Uh, uh, it's very easy to eat. Uh. It's very easy to consume compared to the other uh, bubble teas. Mm. And another thing is that I would say the the matcha is decent enough. It's quite nice. And uh, and also the thing that okay, I would read the I would read the taste about uh, seven out of ten. Just because of the, mm, uh, I like matcha, but matcha with bubble, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, I would say the ambience is about an eight out of ten. The ambience is more of like a cafe vibe. It's like a uh, what do you call it? It's very chill. It's very like more to like if you wanna stay with your friends, have a chat. It's very nice here. Uh, and then also the packaging, I would give it a 3 out of 10. Like I saw how Suzanne uh, basically tried to open the lid and it like it was stuck and all. And it's like inconvenient actually for the youth, like for the consumer to consume. Uh, since a lot of people is like consuming this, I mean imagine the time like every time you want to buy this and you need to do the same thing all over and over again just to do that small thing just to make it better, taste better or the gesture and all so the steps the, the process that it takes to drink this drink because of the plastic cup it's a bit inconvenient i would say the design the design flaw take note double bar so guys we just got done with all three places so so we we gotta pick a we gotta select our own favorite winners right now. So, so what's your favorite? My favorite, I think, at the end of the day, we we'll say the boba. It's actually kind of nice. Just packaging very bad. This is bad. The boba, take note. Please take note. <laughs> you guys are good, but this is bad. Okay. So uh, I think the winner of uh, from all the boba tea shop that we have tried, I think still the boba because. Uh, in terms of pearls, in terms of the taste, but packaging, guys. <laughs> so, just do a good job. I think the business will be better. Shout out to 2D. 2D actually did a very good job in their ambience. But in terms of drinks, they kind of suck. So yeah. <laughs> so for my, so for my favorite, my personal favorite is. Also, I would say double bar. I have to give it a slight edge for double bar because of the pearls uh, being a bit softer in comparison with Zunfu Tang right behind there. So basically, the taste also taste-wise, I think in terms of the tea, I think I kind of like uh, Zunfu Tang's better. But the pearls, in, since this is a uh, boba team, uh, boba, boba boba team, uh, yeah, team. Bo bo boba team. So basically, the ta in terms of the bo bubble taste and the softness, I like the double bars better. So my personal favorite would be double bar. So yeah. So we have the boba as the winner. So yeah. the boba, three wins, three three yeses from uh, us to the boba. So yeah, I think that's all for today. So basically, I'm gonna sign off. Uh, see you guys Bye. there. See you guys on the next one. Yeah.